G'day guys, Alex here. How's everyone doing in the YTPC? I'm just chilling out, having a just lit up my pipe, my uh, Tom Corral pipe, and uh, just packed it with some uh, Orlick Racing Green. Yeah, been smoking that of, of late a bit. That oh, uh, had some Penzance yesterday and Star of the East. So yeah. That's my Tom Corral pipe from Chicago. Met Tom Corral, got a pipe. Get a Tom Corral pipe. Good pipes, well priced. Now, the idea of this video is the pipe nook. <coughs> Excuse me, the pipe nook. Has reached his thousand subs. Congratula congratulations, brother. That's a lot of subs. You've done very well. Uh, and he's holding a contest, which I want to enter. Uh, it's a very good contest actually. I really like what he's hey, his offering is fantastic, but I actually like what he's asking. Yeah, uh, he's a bit of a music fan and wants us to talk about old albums or whatnot you used to li been listening to since you were a kid or whatever. And uh yeah, let's get the ball rolling. Okay. Alright, Eddie. Congratulations on your sub. Uh better say that again. One of the one of my old favourite albums. Now, I love this band. It's an old Australian band. The lead singer passed away a few years ago, Doc Neeson. But the band is called The Angels. Yes, old vinyl albums. <laughs> Not funny. Anyway, uh, yeah, I have got a little record player which I can plug in the PC and listen to them. But to be honest, I rarely do that nowadays. Um, what I tend to do is listen to it on CD or MP3. Anyway, the Angels had a great, great song like Take a Long Line, Shadow Boxer, um, Marcel's, um, which one, uh, Am I Ever Gonna See Your Face Again? Now there's two versions of that. There's the clean version and the dirty version. The clean version they sing, the dirty version the crowd sings. The crowd, like when you get, I saw the Angels when I was a really young fella um, at a concert, and they sing, "Am I ever gonna see your face again?" And the crowd will sing, "No way, get f f off." <laughs> so that was quite good. The Angels, anyway, that's their greatest hits album. Big fan of theirs. Still listen to their music. Um, like I said, it's very old. You're gonna laugh at this one. Now, as a kid in school, this band come out. I still listen to the old stuff, the old music, and Twisted Sister. You know, songs like We're Not Gonna Take It, uh, Burn In Hell, I Wanna Rock, uh, Don't Let Me Down, The Beast, SMF. I still listen to them songs. Um, not daily, but I do listen to them, yes. Uh, really enjoy the old Twisted Sister. Um, there's, so, there's so many bands I listen to. These are the, these are the, I guess the foundation bands I still listen to nowadays. You know what I mean? There's bands like Odd Songs by Kiss and whatnot I still listen to. And you know, um, anyway, one of my favourite bands, the, the original band, Guns N' Roses. Saw them live in Melbourne here. Um, this is their album, of course. I, I won't show the inside cover. It's got a picture of a naked girl on it, as you probably know. Uh, the interesting thing about this album is, first of all, you know, I really love the, the Lies album and, and the others, of course. The interesting thing about it is there's a song on here, um, it's called um, Nice Boys Don't Play Rock and Roll. Now that, that song which, you know, they, the Guns N' Roses sing was actually an original song by one of my favourite Australian, other Australian bands, Rose Tattoo. Now, Rose Tattoo, the lead singer is Angry Anderson. He recorded that song, and of course, it's on, on their albums. They used to tour with Guns N' Roses back in the day before both were known. Um, as in, Rose Tattoo is a well-known Australian band in Australia, but that was it. Um, they used to tour together. Uh, Axel loved the song so much. He recorded it onto, his, onto, onto the Lies album. Guns N' Roses turned into a mega band. Rose Tattoo, well, just remained Rose Tattoo, uh, Australian pub band. <laughs> I 
then I've seen both live, of course. Um, now, one of my all-time go-tos, the band. Uh, a lot of the songs on this album, um, a lot of the songs on this album, actually pretty much all of them bar one song, really, <laughs> uh, that I listen to quite a lot. I've got it on my iPod in the car, so I got plugged in into the USB port. I've got all their songs in, in the car. ACDC. Now, this is the original ACDC with Bon Scott. Um, I do like Brian Johnson as well. Different styles, doesn't matter. You know, it is what it is. You know, Bon Scott passed away, of course. So I um, I listen to both. Um, I, I, so be it, you know. The, the lead singer dies, you know, that they had to do something. So um, my favourite song on this really is Riff Raff. I mean, that, I, just, I don't know why I love that song. Um, there's also songs like... Um, Ain't no fun waiting around to be a millionaire. That's one of my all-time favourites by ACDC. Um, Rocker, of course, I love. Um, whole lot of Rosie, awesome, awesome. Bad Boy Boogie, oh yeah. So, one of my all-time favourites is ACDC. Absolutely. Do I listen to them? Pretty much every day. <laughs> Pretty much every day. Um, I thought I'd show this one. It's... My very first album I ever purchased um, when I was a young fella. Iron Maiden, Number of the Beast. I still go back and listen to, you know, stuff like Number of the Beast, Run to the Hills, of course. Um, Children of the Damned, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, for all the songs on the album. Um, that's one of my, that's my first album. And I'll show you my first ever single. Um, I was living in a, a, a suburb of what's called Brunswick and went to a local store and I bought this little single. I loved this song when I heard it. I heard it on a show that used to be on, on TV here called Countdown. And I thought, wow. And then they came to Australia and I was too young, of course. And they played on the Countdown show live, this song. And I went and bought the uh, CD, uh, CD, single. The Charlie Daniels Band, The Devil Went Down to Georgia. <laughs> so that's it there. Um, <laughs> I can't believe I still got this, eh? I had a lot of other albums and stuff that were not, uh, were stolen. Um, but, you know, like a lot of my old, a lot of the old ACDC albums are gone. Oh, they've been knocked off, or stolen, if you will. You know, I do listen to bands like Metallica, of course, uh, System of a Down, Rage Against the Machine, Linkin Park, and, of course, classics like, I do listen to ABBA, make no mistake, I really do. You know, Credence Clearwater Revival. Uh, new, newer bands I listen to nowadays is stuff like uh, Blackstone Cherry. I actually went to their concert this year here in Melbourne, and they were awesome. Um, you know, I've got like all CDs over here. That's they're racked. They're all CDs, and I've got DVDs of bands and stuff as well. So, you know, there's the things like U2, um, everything, mainly rock. You know, um, bit of bit of um, Red Hot Chili Peppers, a bit of Aerosmith, <laughs> a bit of everything. I really, really, really enjoy rock, hard rock. Not into thrash metal or any of that really heavy, heavy metal music. Don't mind some of it. There are there are exceptions. Pretty much driving to and from work. I, I, I drive an hour to go to work. Um, I'll listen to ACDC, Guns N' Roses, Metallica. One of my favourite bands, I know you're probably surprised at this, Marilyn Manson. Um, seen him live in concert as well. Really enjoy Marilyn Manson. Um, not all his songs, you know, some of his songs are shite. Some are superb. Um, another one I listen to, I can't understand what they're singing. I understand what it's about though. Uh, Ramstein. Really enjoy Ramstein. Um, good industrial 
industrial rock band about they sing in German pretty much all but two or three songs uh, yeah I listen to a bit of everything I, I really love my music T to me it's extremely important I mean extremely um, when I get angry I listen to music especially when I'm you know if someone really gets under my skin and I gotta chill out I sit back have a pipe this sort of pipe guys those who are new to the channel uh, sit back have a pipe and chill and listen to music you know I, I got into a little bit of mud vein of, of late um, I can't think of what else <laughs> so I, I really 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 love my music even old stuff like the animals you know I, I think I said the doors already or maybe not a lot I like the doors the mamas and the papas um, a lot of the old stuff from the 70s and 80s uh, a bit of the Sex Pistols, The Offspring. Um, they're, they're just bands. I mean, I can't rattle off. I can't rattle off albums for a lot of these guys. It'll be various songs. The the ones I've mainly got albums of, um, like Metallic. I got all their stuff mainly on actually all on CDs. I don't have actual vinyl. Blackstone Cherry MP3s, System of a Down CDs, Rage Against the Machine MP3s. ABBA, all the albums are gone, They're not, not again when they were stolen, so I've got none of these, just on CD, Linkin Park, all CDs, and all the old stuff, I've got like a pile of albums over there, um, there's a bit of everything, you know, like, I wasn't going to show these, because I was trying to limit it, but I'm in a chatty mood, so I apologise, Eddie, you know, stuff like Dire Straits, uh, Brothers in Arms, you know, fantastic album. I really love it. Really, I go back and listen to the songs. Of course, ACDC, Back in Black. I love that. Um, Morrison Hotel, The Doors. <laughs> Who don't like The Doors? Come on. Um, Credence, you know, Bayou County, you know, it, it, it's like a classic album. Uh, there's so many old bands I listen to, so many new bands. I just I just get into them all. I don't like I don't like a lot of pop songs. I don't like a lot of the new age songs. To be honest, I'm not into rap and um, that sort of stuff. I do like a bit of blues. I do like um, more of the, more of the rock style blues as well. I don't like jazz at all. Um, mm not really a fan of hip-hop like everything there's also one or two songs that come out you might enjoy but pretty much no uh, another band i'm a big fan of i've got a lot of their work uh cds is machine head really love machine head um i've got all their i've got all the albums except for i think the latest one i don't think i've got that one yet so yeah that's my music tastes <laughs> It, it, some people say I've got no taste, but anyway, I do like stuff like back in the day, you know, like Poison, you know, the band Poison, and you know, the Hair Bear bands, um, you know, um, Bon Jovi. You know, I saw them live here in Melbourne, and you know, I've got I think the first five albums or six albums on CD, a couple of singles, uh, LPs as in singles as in vinyl. Back then, I still got some of them. They're actually there on the shelf. Uh, yeah, I hope I haven't bored you and made this too long. <laughs> so sorry, brother. <coughs> <coughs> sorry about the long VR. Uh, this is a subject I really enjoy. I could go for another two hours and go more in depth into songs and albums and what's so great about them, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> yeah, people who, who really love music and been around for a while and they got a lot of things to say about music and compare bands and you know, um, what makes a song special to a person, you know, I can remember, there are certain songs that you can remember when certain things happen in life, whether good or bad, and if you hear that song again, it always brings back that memory, so it's strange how that works, but, and of course songs from movies, you know, you hear a song and you remember it from a movie. All right, congratulations on your thousand subs, Eddie. Um, awesome contest man i can't believe the prize <laughs> choose whatever pop you want off the uh website well actually i had a look on your website 
And I think the one I'd want, I don't know yet. M maybe a Bing's favourite, or maybe one of the uh, Nirups. I'm not sure yet. If I win, that is. All right, brother. Take care. Congratulations. All the best. Get a Tom Carell pipe, guys, if you ain't got one. And um, be bad. Be good at it. Peace.